What's up guys? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Anchor. I like Anchor. I really do. I think this is a quality project. I'm going to go through sort of Anchor's history and why I rate it and what gains I think it can have. We'll also take a look uh, at what Bitcoin has been doing over the past 24 hours as well. But before I get into any of that, guys, if you are new to this channel, these are the first 26 coins I did videos on on this channel. In those videos, I was like, these are quality cryptos, I'm buying them up. Uh, you can see what the prices were at recording, <clears throat> and you can see what the highs they hit were. So had you put in 100 bucks into each of them uh, when I released the videos, and say you sold at the top when the market was just rocketing up in 2021, 100 bucks into each, a $2,600 investment, would have netted you a profit of around 123 grand. Pretty damn good. Now, I did that. I sold these um, when we were in full flow of the bull cycle. These are not the coins I own. But if you do want to see the cryptos that I own right now, the ones that are all in my holdings, uh, you can do. Just go over to copymycrypto.com. On the site, I share all the coins I own with the members. Anytime I buy or sell a coin, I uh, alert the members straight away. Now, <clears throat> if you're watching this video, you obviously know there's money to be made in crypto. So the question is, is, are you doing the required research, looking at the charts, reading the white papers, you know, doing your 10,000 hours? If you're not, because, you know, you can't uh, find the time, you can't escape, uh, you know, the obligations of life, or you're just not interested in doing the research, Copy My Crypto could be exactly what you need. Now, if you go to the site, it'll take about 10 minutes to read. Every single thing on that site is public record. So it's all verifiable. You can literally confirm anything you read by going through the old videos on this channel. Easy as that. If when you read it, you go, yeah, you know what? This is for me. Wonderful. Maybe I'll see you there. If you decide it's not, no worries, no obligation to buy. Keep coming back to the channel though, because obviously we deliver content very, very regular, regularly here. But... At the very, but if you haven't ever gone to the site, at least go to the site to find out what you're missing out on. Because um, if you want to make these kind of gains uh, without putting in the legwork, without putting in the graft, that's all I do is do research on these coin on the coins that I'm in. The coins that I'm in right now, I've done the same research that I did to find, you know, Phantom and Theta and Zilliqa and all of these. Uh, so go check out the site now, guys. Uh, so Anchor. <clears throat> Anchor's quality. Anchor's quality. Web3 infrastructure. Okay. So the whole premise of Anchor is it's a decentralized infrastructure provider. So it operates tons of nodes globally for tons of different proof of stake networks. So they provide the infrastructure for other blockchains. So Anchor's built, Anchor builds, um, AP, uh, in uh, traditional APIs and a decentralized multi-chain network to for pu the public RPC nodes. These no nodes are what are connected to all of the blockchains. This allows for Anchor to provide earning, like passive income earning in a way that a lot of uh, cryptos don't. So uh, Anchor Earn makes staking, liquid staking and other yield opportunities easy and accessible to any crypto investor. It's literally just going through the Anchor uh, protocol. The co-founders have both been in Forbes 30 under 30, um, and they've worked as engineers at Amazon Web Services uh, together, as well as um, obviously deciding to, to leave and build Anchor, which now can power, because of their infrastructure, they can power uh, dApps across all blockchains. I mean, it's staggering. Like, it's really staggering. Um, and you can see what they, you know, how easy it is to build. You've got their, you know, they've got their liquid staking up now as well. So you can see how that runs. Um, so you can go, so you could stake Anchor, you could stake Genesis, you could stake Ethereum, Polygon, Binance, Polkadot, Avalanche, Phantom. You know, they've got stuff up and running really damn fast. <clears throat> um, and this is a nice little feature, to be fair. And their ecosystem has just grown enormously because so many cryptos rely on Anchor to provide some infrastructure. Uh, they're they're, they've got one of the biggest networks of nodes out there. 
Um, they're a node provider for pretty much like every big major proof of stake network and could provide a solution. Um, and you can see, you know, the products that they've got up and running. Now they've got a gaming SDKs. So people that want to connect web two games to web three works perfectly. You've got app chains, which allows people to launch their blockchain and token with anchors tools. Obviously the liquid staking is what I've spoken about and they've got enterprise solutions. So these, these are the node infrastructures for businesses and um, blockchain API services. They've, they've actually done a hell of a lot in a really short space of time. They've also got grants uh, system in place. I always like that and I always talk about that. This is $10 million in grants for developers and node operators. So come build with us and we will give you money. Incentivize them. It's, you know, I always use the reference field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. In this regard, it's if you pay them, they will come and then you grow. And you know, the grants that they've got in place have been uh, rewarded to a number of different projects so far. This will only grow over the course of time. Um, they also have stuff like ambassador programs for people that want to promote them. Um, and, you know, share a link or whatever. Uh, but as you can see, you know, this case studies multiple times. You've got the BNB chain and how Anchor's contributions has improved BNB. You've got the sushi sushi swap, you've got Meta Apes, and you've got Bomb Money, which is um, an app, uh, something that was built on App Chain. Um, I mean, properly, it's like it's grown really substantially in a short space of time. And you can actually, like, they'll even allow you to rotate the planet so to, to, to discover nodes. So you can actually start seeing where the nodes are all located. You know, there's a fair few in Europe. America has quite a nice amount. Um, you've got some knocking about in uh, Africa as well. And wherever the, yeah, back to America. Uh, kind of annoying, to be honest, trying to use this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's Australia. Yeah, yeah. So plenty knocking about, uh, and it's only growing. It's only growing. And again, you know, the company has been up and running for a pretty good while and they're growing solidly you know you can see that they've uh, worked they've been in Forbes they've been in uh, coin telegraph coin obviously in coin telegraph coin market cap they're on the Nasdaq as well um, and you can see the team behind them but I'm, I'm just I'm really impressed with what they've managed to do in a short space of time now um, when you actually take a look at how Anchor's sort of trajectory, you know, they launched in 2018, uh, sorry, 2019. Um, and, you know, it was a really small price of like one and a half, 1.4 cents, dropped below uh, a cent uh, for a good while. And in the most recent bull cycle, as you can see, ran up to sort of 18, 19 cents uh, twice as well um so good a good like solid two peaks within the bull cycle because uh, a lot of them a lot of the cryptos just dropped off in that's uh in one of the peaks comparatively so anchor looks steady looks really steady um another thing that i like is damn near all the supplies out 97 percent of the total supply it's always a good sign it means that there's not going to be a huge market dump because of early investors or anything like that um, and when I'm looking at Anchor, I'm thinking like right now we can't say long-term uptrend purely because it's went th only went through one bull cycle. Uh, but I do think this can break its previous high. Its previous high is 19 cents. Now, honestly, for me, I look at Anchor and I go, it's got to have a target point of around 30 cents. That puts it at a market cap of 3 billion. But it's providing infrastructure for the biggest projects in crypto. It's providing the, the node network required for so many of the projects that have market caps in the multiple, multiple billions. So why wouldn't something providing the infrastructure for all these key cryptos have a massive surge? Uh, so I look at it and I go 30 cents should be achievable. I will point out, look, once it gets above 19 cents, it's in price discovery mood. So there is actually no telling how high it can get, but that would be one and a half, you know, 30 cents would be effectively one and a half times its previous high, which is pretty good. Um, 
but I could easily see this doing substantially more um, because their system is outstanding. It's outstanding. Their security is 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 outstanding. They've not had any issues um, with any sort of uh, with any hacks or any exploits at all. You know, in their history, they've just been solid. And if you are providing the underlying infrastructure for some of the biggest cryptos in the space, why can't this do something spectacular? Now I'll limit myself and say, look, thirty cents, but. This could easily be a coin that runs up to 50, 60, maybe even a dollar uh, because it would still have a smaller market cap than all the coins that it provides infrastructure for. So I would argue, I, I still argue 30 cents for now, but this is one that could do something special. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think this can, uh, do you think this could do a dollar? Do you think it could do more than a dollar? Or do you think 30 cents about right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're a returning viewer, hit the subscribe button. Look, these videos are going to make you money. So if you subscribe, you're not going to miss them. It's very, very simple. Um, before I get into the Bitcoin news, um, if you guys want to see the coins that I own right now, head over to copymycrypto.com. Like I said, this is where I share the coins that I own. If you want to see the cryptos in my what you know, that I'm holding right now, in my wallets right now, and copy my crypto is where you want to go. Um, on the site, I share with my members anytime I buy or sell any coin. Videos are actually released every day as well, talking about the markets. In fact, Bitcoin hitting 30K was something I predicted yesterday. Um, but the majority of members literally just come on, join to copy along um, because they want to take the 10,000 hours of research out of their life. That's all I do is research. That's how I found phantom when no one else was talking about phantom and when i find the next phantom i'm not going to create a course like i did last time i'm going to go onto my site and tell the members look I'm, i may have found 100x coin which is what i've said about one of the particular coins i've bought um so if you want to find out what they are head over to copymycrypto.com and go read the site and remember that everything you read you can verify on this channel's history and maybe i'll see you there guys Right, Bitcoin. Bitcoin rallied to 30k. This was something I said yesterday will happen. And the reason I said it is it was in a position that it was re like it was inevitable. Um, and it just skyrocketed. It's actually broken 30k. It's hovering above 30k uh, finally for the first time since June of last year. Um, <clears throat> there isn't a clear catalyst for this spike. Uh, so, you know, it may just be a spike and come back down. Although I will say everything that I'm seeing in the charts... Bitcoin looks like it's got another run up, possibly to around that 31,100 level. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that achieved today, uh, possibly even tomorrow. But obviously there's some external variables that are going to affect the markets tomorrow with the CPI data coming out and with the FOMC's minutes coming out tomorrow. But right now, the crypto market is looking bullish as hell. Uh, one one thing I said is uh, to the members is I do believe that in by the end of this month we're going to have seen Bitcoin uh, rally to around 33, 34 k. Uh, I said that at the start of this month as well, so it looks like we're on course to do that. Um, now thirty k should should provide some resistance for obvious reasons. It's a psychological barrier, um, but. Looking at the, again, looking at the charts, the, it looks very, 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 very possible that Bitcoin could kick on once again up to that 31k level um, as soon as possibly today. Uh, but the external variables that affect the markets, like FOMC minutes, like CPI data, that all comes out tomorrow. So, in anticipation of that, the markets may stagnate somewhat for the next 24 hours or so. Um, but yeah, markets for the first time in a while looking quite uh, buoyant. It's looking nice. Um, could Bitcoin hit 100k this year? No, probably not. But we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for me, guys. Uh, have a good day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.